Hey guys, so here's a quick walkthrough of how to download and install the Ableton Master Template. This is for a Mac. And once you get to this page to download, you're just going to simply click on it. And then your download will start in your browser window, most likely. I'm uh, using Chrome right now. And as you'll notice down here, the, uh, the size shows me it's 322. But once it's downloaded, I believe it shows a slightly different size. So if you don't see that size, you'll know that there's some issue. And this could take anywhere from 20 to 40 minutes to download. So just give it some time and try not to multitask and download a bunch of other stuff because that could cause some glitches that you don't want. So once that's downloaded, you're probably going to find this zip folder in your download folder. So check there unless you've specified another place. So I've got this on my desktop now. I pulled it from the download folder. And Max built-in unzipper uh, works really well for these. So no problem there, nothing that you should need to download. You're just going to double click on this. And let me just show you the size of this file here. So the size that I have here is 337.9 megabytes. So make sure that you've got that size. Otherwise, there might be some glitches or some missing files or what have you. And once you unzip it, you're going to have this folder right here. Go ahead and open this folder. Double click on the song file here. And this is what you should see here. And what you might notice is down here, you'll see some samples loading up or whatever. And sometimes when you go into a sampler, when you go into a specific instrument, sometimes it'll start loading that instrument. So when you first play the sound, sometimes you might not get it perfectly clear until everything loads, but it usually doesn't take very long at all. And then you're ready to go. So I hope that should explain uh, just the basic installation of the master template. This is, like I said, the light version. And once we get a thumbs up on this, I can start introducing the full version. But like I said, I want to make sure there's no glitches. I want to make sure everyone's having a fantastic experience.